now we'll modify this function module to consume the third web service that is validate the TOTP. So before third consuming the third web service, what we have to do? We have to ask the user and for testing we can do in our own while we need to scan this QR code into our while app Google Authenticator. So for that open the Google Authenticator and at the bottom click on the plus sign. You can see two options either we can scan the QR code or we can enter the key manually and we need to do we need to scan this QR code once we scan this QR code then we can see like this a new record into our Google Authenticator and in the third web service here we need to pass the code and this, this code will be which is displaying on the mobile screen and this codes regenerated every after 30 seconds okay so before third steps first scan this QR code into our own mobile for testing purpose so let me scan this into my mobile first and then I will do the required modification so I'm just scanning this code yes I have added this new code into my mobile now we'll do the modification for this URL let me again copy this first copy the URL go to SAP system now for the modification and now this time again we'll add one more importing parameter before this here click on insert row let's say ip underscore validate type flag and we have secret key already here here we will add one more as t otp because type char6 we can take any other data element so i'm going with TOTP care 6 and this time for third one what they will do here we'll write it else if IP underscore validate is not initial then this time again we need to concatenate here also will break into the part code which will enter from the mobile screen that's ip underscore t otp t otp okay why it is not coming let me check okay ip underscore t otp and second variable will be the secret key secret key we also need to pass from the login screen IP underscore secret key into GV underscore URL save check and activate Okay, save so check in, activate. So for the first one, this will get triggered. For the second one, this URL will get triggered. And third one, this URL will get triggered. Remaining all will be same. Okay, so now we'll do the complete testing one by one. Let me check if I can use the same secret key here. So I will use the same secret key. I cannot see any. Yes, here I have a secret key. We check if this is working fine. Let me copy this secret key first. Go to test mode. If it is not working, I have to again enter the new secret key. Validate. Select validate. Enter the secret key here. No, I don't think the secret key. Okay, let's do a complete start to end testing again. So first I will generate a secret key. 
my secret key is generated let's do complete testing it will take hardly one minute now after generating the secret key my next is the enrollment here i will pass the secret key here my account here again is abap let's say abap1 and here i'm using this time name as test just save this variant as a test variant execute let me copy this url go to browser enter this let me scan this uh, scan this new one yes i will scan this new one and now i will do the third one that is the validation part for the validating api need to pass the x in the validate and the secret key the current number which is display on my while is 466 and 300 okay let me execute yes we can see the value is true this means that validation part is working successfully so let's for some 10 20 seconds till it gets fails so if i pass any other value let me pass it which is not there on my mobile currently so if we execute this we can see the false okay again let me enter the current number which is displayed on my mobile screen is triple six one two seven we can enter the last two number from the mobile screen again execute again it is true so in this way we have created a web, uh, created a function model to consume all the three web services that is secret key enrollment and validate the next part will be our creating a program as function model as a developer we can use but for some basis user or some of the power user we need to give on program program so they can generate a secret key and they can get the enrollment url for the user so that we will do next and after that we will implement the customer exits into the sap login screen so that we will see in the next session